And tonight with team coverage, we'll find out how long this cold snap will last from meteorologist Mike Doyle in just a bit. First star Evan Hinckley spoke with first responders today about why there's an increase in fires during times like this. Evan? Yeah, John, Amanda, with below freezing temperatures outside, some might think that it's more likely for house fires to start. But inside homes that don't heat evenly, there's a quick fix that could be dangerous. The most common problem is portable heating. Steve Baer, chief of the Alpha Fire Company in State College, says the biggest mistake people make when using space heaters is not giving enough space between the heater and household objects. Uh, you got to remember that's a very, very hot point source and it needs to be at least three feet away from anything that can catch on fire. That includes chairs, curtains, blankets, and even carpet that can catch fire in minutes or even seconds. But once you put the space heater in a safe spot, it's okay to leave unattended, right? No, I, I strongly discourage running space heaters when it's, they're not home to be monitored. Chief Bear says a pet could easily knock over the heater or the heater could overload a circuit. He says avoid plugging it into extension cords or power strips. He also warns against using household appliances like a stove to heat your home. Your oven and your stove is not intended to heat your house. It's, first of all, it's horribly inefficient. It's not going to put that much heat into the room. And then you can actually set the house on fire as, as you basically overdrive that appliance. That thing is just not made to, to run nonstop. Statistics from the National Fire Protection Association show that half of fire deaths related to heating equipment occur in December, January, and February. Over 88% of those deaths are caused by space heaters. And there are also tips to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning along with chimney fires this holiday season. I'll share those tips with you coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live here in State College, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.